Alright guys, what's going on and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Corsair Raptor HS40 two and a half years on. So to see how it's done, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So first of all, I'd like to talk about the build quality of the headset itself. As mentioned before in the review of the headset, the main one, I did mention that the headset itself was very, very comfortable and that is still the case two and a half years later. The headset is still really, really comfortable to wear and the build quality of the headset itself is second to none. This thing's been thrown around the room, everything you can imagine and it's still surviving and it's still working absolutely perfectly. Although on build quality, there is a minor issue with this headset which I found and it's only actually started happening recently. It looks like the sort of fake leather material, I don't know if it's real leather or not, it looks like a sponge to me with some fake leather on top, but the fake leather is actually starting to peel away now and it has only just started doing it over the last couple of months and you can see on the left ear cup it is actually pretty bad and it does leave sort of black little leather marks everywhere which can be quite annoying but that's just one of those things Things, unfortunately with the fake leather on the headsets it probably is gonna happen at some point but to be honest two and a half years it's lasted long enough for me the other major gripe about this headset is something which I did clearly point out in the review itself the first review I did I did mention that the wires tangle easily and again it as you can imagine it has only sort of got worse uh, unfortunately the wires have sort of they've, they've really they're, they're really badly sort of tangled up and they seem to tangle every other wire you can imagine in with them but the good thing about this though is that often you'd find where the sort of wires are really tangling up the wires inside would actually snap this hasn't been the case the headset still works flawlessly so as long as it carries on working flawlessly I have to say I'm not too bothered as long as it just doesn't keep sort of taking my other cables hostage then I'm not too fussed the remote control which controls the volume um, and turns your mic on and off as well work, still works perfectly as it did the first day I got it which is fantastic as well and the sound does still sound pretty good as well. Again, it sounds exactly like the uh, the first day I've got it. There's no sort of crackling or distortion or anything like that. It didn't have the best sound quality in the world, to be honest. But then again, it was only a £40 headset. There are better £40 headsets for sound. But in terms of the microphone, which is the reason I got it back in the day when I used to do gaming videos all the time, that's really what sort of sold the headset to me. And then in terms of the microphone, what I'll do now is I'll finish the rest of the review on the microphone and not the this uh, microphone that I'm using at the moment. Alright guys, so you're now listening to me through the Corsair Raptor HS40. The volume on Windows for the microphone is set to 50, um, so it's a sort of good indication as what the mic still sounds like. Now I've not had a chance to listen to this yet, so I'll only be able to see what it's going to sound like when I edit it. Alright guys, so that has been it, that has been the sort of look at the Raptor HS40 two and a half years later. It has survived really, really well to be honest, I've definitely had my money's worth out of it, it has got used a hell of a lot to be honest. Not so much anymore, I mainly use it just for editing videos, and if I end up talking to a friend on Skype or whatever, I'll always chuck them on as well. Uh, but other than that, like I say guys, I barely use the headset, um, but yeah, it has definitely survived well, and if you're looking at buying one, because the main reason I actually did this is I can see they're still available to buy online um, and through I think PC world and stuff like that you can still get them as well so if you guys want in a good solid headset for about 40 pounds with a decent mic and some decent sound quality it'll definitely last you the two and a half years it's not like some cheaper alternatives which sort of conk out on you after six months it is a solid buy anyway guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace